What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here. I'm sorry it's taking me this long, but there are a lot of exciting things going on here that you'll see in some upcoming videos. So today I'm proud to present to you the Sawtech B200 from Homeag. This is what we're gonna be showing you today. I'm gonna to show you all kinds of features that it has and some of the strengths that we've uh, come across when we've been using over the last few months. So without further ado, I'm Rob, this is Diamond. Roll the intro. The new saw is the Sawtech B200 by Homeg. We've upgraded from a semi-automatic beam saw where you would manually put your pieces up against the stop to this fully automated one. We're putting the pieces against the stop. There are grippers on this gantry right in the back here. There's hands that will grab the sheet and pull them, pull the sheets right into the machine for cutting. It has a very large footprint here, but it has the capacity to cut 12 by 12 sheets in the short time I've had this machine, I've been able to cut five sheets of five eighths and four sheets of three quarters tall all in one shot. The height of the blade is determined by the beam that comes down to cut the sheets. The machine will measure and it knows how far to project the blade up above the material. In this clip, you can see me cutting a sheet of dovetail material. This is only the second sheet I've ever ran on the machine. Is very easy to learn. The software of this machine is very easy to follow along the cut instructions that are right there on the screen. In the short time I've had the machine, I've cut a lot of dovetail bottoms with it, which has been a major issue for us with our nested machine. The saw makes it a lot easier for us to do a lot of straight cuts and we plan on moving some production to this machine. Just a quick note that one of the biggest productions for me was eight sheets of 3 8 plywood for dovetail material. That was a total of nine jobs all mixed together. And I cut 45 drawer bottoms in 15 minutes, all of them labeled and sorted out. None of them mixed together all through the saw software. Made it very easy. Let's take a look at the interface here on the com computer. Here you can see on the left, we've got all of our different jobs, PO numbers. We wanna click on any of them. Here on the right, pulls up all of our patterns for that particular job, as well as showing us what material these are gonna be cut out of. Making it super intuitive, super easy for us to figure out what material we have to cut at what time. All the jobs are listed on the left, are super organized. On the left here, we have all the jobs that we wanna cut, showing us how many sheets there are in each. And when we click on one, it shows us all the patterns for that particular job, as well as what material each sheet will be cut out of. So in an example of this job having a couple different materials listed, if we only wanted to cut these couple of sheets out of 3 8 pre-finished, all we have to do is check them off, bring them over into the production tab, and now your operator only has to worry about these three sheets in particular. Once we head into production, this is the screen you get. It doesn't get much easier than this, the B200 has a display on it that shows you exactly the sheet, where to load it, where it's gonna cut, and how to spin all the parts as you cut. But it isn't, it isn't just an automated saw. We can come here to the manual section, and if I wanted to cut a piece at uh, 250 mils, let's say, it shows you how long of a piece you would need to use the automated grippers for this particular piece. And let's change that. I actually want four parts. The display tells you right there, four pieces will equal this amount of material. Another nice feature to this manual mode is if I load it in a sheet that isn't this size, the machine will know it's only big enough for three or two or however many will actually fit on that sheet, depending on the quantity that you wanted, and it will pause the production of these cuts once it's reached the limit to the sheet that you have loaded. So there's a quick look at the new B200 from Homeg. I'm very happy with the purchase we've made with this machine. Definitely the best saw that I've ever used. Thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what you want to see next here in the shop. 